If your phone drains from about 15% to only 1% fast, it signals you that the battery is a bit old or even damaged. Sometimes there might be 20% left, but the phone turns off all of a sudden in the middle of an important phone call. All these things show that the battery's not all right, and you might want to change it. If your phone keeps 1% for a long time, it finds that the battery has more capacity left than it estimated. By the way, no modern battery can be fully charged or drained. You can quickly improve battery life. First, you can limit your widget usage. Try not to add too many widgets and limit the use of those that require a lot of data to keep the info up to date. By the way, if there's no explanation why your phone gets drained that fast, think about cybersecurity. It can probably be evidence of somebody following you and your data. How do I know all this stuff? I'm a phony. Kind of like a foodie, but about phones. Hey, stop laughing. Your phone can get hot for many reasons, including overuse, apps running in the background, malfunctioning software, malware, or if it's been exposed to too much heat or sun. Sometimes this warmth is okay, but it could be because of serious problems if your phone is regularly overheating. If your phone drains to zero every time you leave your house in winter, you need to check the battery health in the settings. Phone batteries, like any rechargeable battery, have special components that get less effective as they age. If the battery health is less than 85%, you might consider changing the battery. Otherwise, your gadget will drain every time it's cold outside. Now, don't forget to charge your old phone sometimes after getting a brand new one if you want to keep the old buddy just in case. Lack of charge may impact battery life. The same goes for game consoles, laptops, tablets, and any other gadget you charge. If you charge your phone and use it simultaneously, you can confuse the battery a little bit. Like this, the phone's going to get a bit of charge, then the app or whatever you do will devour that energy, and the charger will top the battery up again. These short cycles tire the battery and shorten the lifespan. You can also optimize your battery by closing all those apps you open once in a while and forget to close. Some apps are especially hungry for your phone longevity. Most of them are what we'll call famous social media. Still, it works perfectly with Androids only. If you have an iPhone, it makes no difference how many apps are running in the background unless these are social media apps. Battery pigs, I say. Also, no app can help you make your battery drain slower, so those that check storage usage and help clean the phone memory never come in handy. Now, you can do all the things I just mentioned yourself. iPhone users know their phones run out of memory fast, and even if you delete some files, it doesn't help. Go to Settings, iPhone Storage, and make sure that recently deleted photos are actually deleted. If not, delete them in the storage sections. Note that your messages can contain heavy files, so you can restrict how long the message can be stored if you have an iPhone. In the message history, tap the Keep Messages button. It's forever by default, but you can keep them for one year or even only 30 days. Don't forget to refresh your phone's operative memory to make it work better and faster. For iPhones, go to Setting, General, Accessibility, Assistive Touch, and turn it on. Press plus, then minus, and then the power button. You'll see the power off bar. Press the assistive touch and hold the home button. Voila! If you see the enter pass notification after you did it, it means you did it all right. It's much easier with Androids, though, since some of them have the clear memory button in the RAM section. It would be best if you didn't charge your phone in a car. Cars usually have less electricity than any phone needs to get a full charge. If you use a low-power USB port, your gadget starts swallowing up power at a much faster rate than the port can handle. It can even damage your charger. In the end, your phone will get barely any charge at all. A car is not the best place, but a rental one is a big no. The USB port is basically public there, so think about cybersecurity. To make your charge safer, you can use your own adapter. Don't charge your phone at a train station. Sometimes, it's way better to spend a couple of hours on a train looking out a window than charging the phone at a train station before hopping on the train. Juice jacking is a big problem of public charging stations. Your data can be extracted via a USB port. Your house can be dangerous, too, for charging your phone. Well, it requires particular circumstances, such as lightning. Right, don't charge your phone during a thunderstorm. The voltage goes up and down, so it can be pretty stressful for your gadget. It's not true that your SIM card can track you. 
The SIM card itself can't be tracked. It's all about the IMEI number any phone has. If your mobile phone is on, it is transmitted to the closest cell tower. A SIM card can't track you, but your iPhone remembers all the places you visited recently. To check it, go to Settings, Privacy, Location Services, System Services. Your phone collected your favorite places in frequent locations. Android devices can do the same. Open Location History in Google Maps. Don't charge your phone in cafes. Juice jacking is an issue there, too. Moreover, the USB port capabilities aren't powerful enough, but is completely safe if you use a regular plug and not a USB port. It's not true that 4G eats up more data than 3G. The pages you load are the same no matter what you use, 3G or 4G. It's like eating a pizza. If one person eats it faster than the second one, it's a question of speed and not the pizza size. The same goes for 5G. Oh, now I'm hungry. Oh, by the way, if you cross a phony like me with a foodie who loves sandwich meats, then you get a phony baloney. No, really. There's something you can do to control the data usage. Turn off the maps that use a lot of data. Turn off automatic files uploading to any of your clouds. Get rid of all the automatic updates. If you want some music or a podcast, download it beforehand. Streaming hoovers up all your data. Your iPhone timer is much more helpful than it seems. If you like falling asleep to your favorite music or another YouTube video, just like I do, go to the clock, tap the timer, and select When the Time Ends section. Scroll down until you see the Stop Playing button. This feature shuts down all the media apps such as music, any windows that play sounds or video, or even the YouTube app. Pretty handy if you ever woke up at 3 a.m. in the middle of some random video that was autoplayed. For iPhones, tap and hold the timer button, the one you see when you swipe up and see a fast access menu. You'll see the time scale you need to slide. The only drawback is that you can set a timer for no less than a minute and not more than two hours. The same works with a flashlight. Tap and hold this button to adjust the brightness. You can take pictures without enough memory. If you run out of memory but absolutely need to take a pic, here's a trick. Open any of your apps like Instagram or Facebook and take a photo when you start a new post. Done! The pic will be in your camera roll. Camera roll in iPhones doesn't only store your lovely pug photos. Tap select in the right upper corner and then tap any picture you need. In the left lower corner, you'll see a square with an arrow. Go for it! Scroll down and see what you can do. Duplicate it, use it as wallpaper, or even hide it from those who like to poke their nose into others' lives. Another way to hide a pic is to cut it to the minimum size. When you need it back, just revert it to the original. That's all today from your phony baloney narrator. Have a good one! Now, with selfies taking over the social media world, phone companies had to adapt to the way people hold their phones and use their cameras. Apparently, most users tilt their heads slightly to the right when taking selfies. With the camera located in the left corner, it makes it easier to make sure the camera will be in line with the usual tilt of selfie takers. Ooh, genius! This allows for a more natural look, making the image look better to leave you feeling great. Cameras on the back of most phones are on the left side as well. Sorry, left-handers, this was designed for the more common right-hander. Mount Everest might be getting all the attention, but Mauna Kea in Hawaii is technically the tallest mountain in the world. Measuring over 33,000 feet from base to summit, the only thing holding Mauna Kea back from the title is that it's mostly underwater. Australia is wider than the moon. The moon has a diameter of over 2,100 miles, while Australia's diameter from coast to coast is almost 2,500 miles. While it may be wider, the moon wins with the land area, over 15 million square miles. Whew, that's huge. And all that cheese. Antididophobia is the fear that, at any point, somewhere in the world, a duck or goose may be watching you. The person isn't necessarily afraid that the duck or goose will get too close to them or even touch them. They just don't like the feeling of being watched. It was first described in a comic strip to show how anyone can be afraid of anything. Anything can be a phobia. A duck just watching my every move would certainly give me the heebie-jeebies. I might just quack up. Crows are pretty good at recognizing people's faces and have even been found to remember people for a long time. 
This could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how nice you are to them. You don't want to come across a crow that's holding a grudge against you. You probably can't tell which crow is which very easily, so it might be better to play it safe and just give them all a little wave. In the city of Yoro in Central America, they have an annual event known as the Reign of Fish. Not that the locals get a choice for it anyways. Every year in May or June, a torrential rainstorm rolls through town, leaving a mass of fish flopping around in the streets. The phenomenon is believed to be caused by water spouts or water tornadoes, which drop the fish far from home. Seafood delivery for free? Yes, please. A photon, the most basic part of life, takes thousands, maybe millions of years to travel from the sun's core to its surface. But it only takes 8 minutes and 20 seconds on average to get to your eye once it's at the surface. That means that the sunlight we see is very ancient, older than the human race itself. There are only four words in the English language which end in DOS. Tremendous, horrendous, stupendous, and hazardous. Sounds like the teacher's comment on my report card. A single strand of spaghetti onto your fork has a name. It's called a spaghetto. In the Italian language, an I at the end of the word means that it's plural, while an O is singular. This goes for all types, like gnocco instead of gnocchi, fettuccino instead of fettuccini, and raviolo for a single parcel of goodness. Accidentally eating one of those fruit stickers on apples, peaches, and pears shouldn't worry you at all. They can be eaten, but they aren't exactly edible. It'll just leave your body as everything else does. The glue used for them is regulated by the FDA, but it's still recommended that you wash the fruit and remove the sticker before chomping down on it. Dolphins not only have names for each other, but they'll call out for their friends specifically. Makes you wonder what names dolphins have for us when we get in the water. Hey, look, Frank! Those hairless monkeys are back in the water again! <laughs> German chocolate cake is one of the most delicious cakes out there. It's my all-time favorite. But its name has nothing to do with the country at all. Named after an American baker called Samuel German, who made the tasty treat in 1852. The Eiffel Tower can be 6 inches taller during the summer because of thermal expansion. When the iron heats up during really hot days, the iron particles expand, taking up even more space. Two planets in our solar system rotate the opposite way as the others. Venus and Uranus have this backward rotation. Venus also has the longest day of any planet in our solar system, completing a rotation every 243 Earth days. A baby puffin has the adorable name of Puffling. To feed its chick, the puffin parent will carry about 10 fish in its beak at a time. While you sleep, you can't smell anything even really, really bad or potent smells. Our taste and smell senses are cut down by 50 to 20% during flights. This is why airplane food always tastes like cardboard or too salty. Sounds like a pretty convenient excuse from the airlines to me. Look at any watch advertisements, and the time on display should be 10:10. This is because of the positive effect it has. It looks like a smile, and usually the brand name of the watch is directly below the 12. Stewardesses is the longest word that is typed with only the left side of the keyboard. The word itself isn't used much anymore. Most people say flight attendant instead. Those dum-dums who call out, hey, you, are normally invited to exit the aircraft mid-flight. The longest English word is a crazy 189-819 letters long. I won't spell it out here, but it's the full name for the large protein nicknamed Titan. To say this out loud would take over three hours. So grab a snack and settle back, because we're going to be here for a while. Nah, I wouldn't do that to you. Eunoia, at six letters long, is the shortest word in the English language that contains all five main vowels. Eunoia means beautiful thinking or well mind. It's rarely used these days in the medical field. And if you add two of them, you'd then have a para eunoia. Nah, not really. Glass balls can bounce higher than rubber ones. When a rubber ball hits a surface, it deforms before returning to its original shape. 
and a lot of energy is lost in this process. A glass ball doesn't compress at all, keeping a lot of its energy for the bounce back up. Here's a flash. Kangaroos can't walk backward. Their long feet and heavy tail make walking impossible, forward or backward. They can move side to side with incredible agility, but jumping back is impossible because of that large muscular tail. So let's go to the hop. The loneliest creature on Earth is a whale that's been calling for a mate for a long time. Researchers identify the whale's abnormally high call decades ago and is believed to have never received a response. The unknown whale is called lonely because it communicates at a frequency not used by any other whale in the Pacific Ocean. How sad! Meanwhile, the lyrebird can mimic almost any sound it hears, including chainsaws. The Australian species not only copy other birds, but other animals too, like koalas and dogs. In captivity, they'll also copy artificial sounds, such as car alarms, trucks, and chainsaws. The Northern Hemisphere holds roughly 90% of the world's population. No wonder the streets are so crowded up here. The cougar goes by more names than any other animal. The cougar has been given over 80 names. The puma, mountain lion, panther, and catamount are all the same thing. Just don't confuse them with bobcats, lynxes, jaguars, or leopards. They don't appreciate that. Most people can't lick their own elbow. The length of your arm, combined with the flexibility of your joints, makes this impossible for many. Your elbow is just far enough down on your arm that you can't reach it. Go ahead, try it. I'll wait. Okay, time's up. Octopuses and squids have beaks like birds. The beak is made of the same material that our fingernails are made of, keratin. They can also fit through anything that their beak can, making them the ultimate escape artist. Not you, Houdini. There are over 31 million seconds in a year. We recently discovered this tiny chameleon in Madagascar. At less than an inch long, it's the size of a seed and could fit easily on the tip of your finger. It's nicknamed the Nano Lizard and shows how many tiny creatures could be hiding out, undiscovered, away from the eyes of scientists and researchers. 11 plus 2 equals 13, of course. And 12 plus 1 equals 13. The 13 letters that make up these phrases equal each other in more ways than one. They are actually anagrams of each other. Wow. Anagrams, homonyms, and antidophobia. That's a mouthful, but not as sweet as my German chocolate cake. Hey, I'll take seconds. When sharks need their morning joe, they go to a cafe too. Back in 2002, researchers found an area in the Pacific Ocean called the White Shark Cafe, where great white sharks come during the winter. They simply hang out, tell jokes and laugh at stories of how many humans they've scared, and then go back to the coast to scare us a little bit more when the weather gets warmer. There are watermelons the size of a grape. Kuka melons, or if you prefer, mouse melons, actually look like really small watermelons, but at the same time have a citrus flavor. An Australian barista set a world record for the most cappuccinos made in one hour. 420 of them. A good bar when you're late for work but desperately need coffee. Okay, researchers have found many things that are evidence of prehistoric animals or our human ancestors that lived thousands of years ago, like bones, teeth, stone tools, and a piece of chewing gum dating from almost 10,000 years ago. A million seconds is somewhere around 12 days, and a billion seconds is almost 32 years. Nothing unusual here, just a little bit of good old math that reminds you of how cool time is. All road signs are important, of course, but there's one to rule them all. The falling rocks sign. If you see it ahead, make sure to drive slowly and look around carefully. This sign means there are rock slides possible in that area. 
and your life literally depends on whether you pay attention or not. There's even a village in Switzerland, surrounded by hills, which has a traffic light that tracks the movements of rocks and indicates whether it's safe to drive ahead or not. When someone mentions the biggest desert, you probably picture the endless sandy surface of the Sahara, burning under the hot sun. Well, not quite. The biggest desert is the Antarctic Polar Desert, which covers about 5.5 million square miles in Antarctica. Sounds strange at first, but the definition says that a desert is a place that gets less than 10 inches of precipitation annually. Still, it doesn't say if it has to be hot. The first commercial passenger flight happened at the beginning of the 20th century. It was a 23-minute flight that cost $400 which is about $8,500 today, and the plane flew between two cities in Florida. In Tibet, there are black diamond apples that aren't green or red, but dark purple. The place where they grow has plenty of ultraviolet light over the day, while the temperatures drastically go down during the night, which makes the apple's skin get a darker color. You can taste garlic with your feet. Rub a clove right on your feet take the socks off beforehand, and wait for it. The chemical responsible for its unique smell can be absorbed through the skin, even though the clove was never in your mouth. The moon has volcanoes, and scientists believe they might have been active around 100 million years ago, when dinosaurs still ruled our planet. The view must have been magnificent. Cockroaches are tough. They can survive harsh conditions and have been around since dinosaurs ruled our planet. But the termite queen beats all that with a lifespan of 50 years. That's the longest any insect can live. Regular termites live only one to two years. It's estimated that a total of 108 billion people lived on Earth throughout history. The entire population of Earth could fit inside Los Angeles. With the world's population being 7.5 billion, this seems crazy. But if everyone stood shoulder to shoulder, we could all fit inside 500 square miles. The tuatara is a reptile that has a third eye on top of its head. The eye has a retina, nerve connections, and a lens, but isn't used for seeing, as during growth it quickly becomes covered by scales. Scientists are still trying to find the eye's mysterious function. Camels have three sets of eyelids and two rows of eyelashes to protect them from the blowing sands of the desert. The pandas in your local zoo may look at home, but unless you're in China, they're just on vacation. That's because technically, all pandas are on loan from China and are the property of that country. A full current NASA spacesuit cost between $15 and $22 million in 1974. But NASA hasn't actually built any new suits since 74, leading to them only having four working suits left. If they are to create another suit, in today's money, that would translate to a cost of $150 million. A tiny percentage of static that you see on an old TV screen is residual radiation left over from the Big Bang. If you're heading to London to see the famous London Bridge, think again, as the original bridge is now in Arizona. By the 1960s, London Bridge was falling down, so the city decided to sell it to an American oil tycoon, Robert P. McCullough. It was shipped over to the U.S. and can now be found in Lake Havasu City. Speaking of England, the crown jewels contain two of the largest cut diamonds of all time. The Cullinan Diamond is the largest diamond ever found and is part of the sovereign scepter with cross. The second gem is the aptly named Cullinan II, which is mounted in the impressive imperial state crown. The real giants among diamonds, though, could be raining down on Jupiter and Saturn as you watch this video. That's because lightning storms turn methane into carbon, which gradually hardens as it falls and turns into diamonds. Next time you're struggling to concentrate when studying, try reaching for a stick of gum. A study found that participants who chewed gum while taking a memory test could stay focused longer than those who didn't. 
common sense would suggest that trees have been around before most animals as they produce oxygen for us to breathe. If you were to tell this to a shark, it would laugh as the sea creatures were actually around long before trees. Sharks date back around 400 million years, with trees coming in at about 50 million years later. The Comic Sans font has divided people across the world for decades and has developed a reputation for being informal or unprofessional. This makes perfect sense given its creation. As designer Vincent Canare looked to his favorite comic books, like Watchmen, for inspiration. If you're looking for a bodyguard from the animal kingdom, look no further. The silverback gorilla can lift up to 10 times its own body weight, which translates to a total of around 1,800 pounds. This makes them one of the strongest living mammals on Earth. Humans are the only animals with chins. While other animals like the chimpanzee share similarities with humans, like walking on two legs or having a jaw, none actually have that little bit of bone in the middle of the lower jaw. Movie trailers were originally shown after the movie, which is why they're called trailers. The current American flag was designed by a high school student. Bob Heft designed the flag for his history class in 1958 and was only given a B- for his efforts. Later, his design was chosen out of more than 1,500 others to become the new flag. His grade was unsurprisingly changed to an A after this. Unlike humans, cats don't have the same amount of toes on their front and back paws. They usually have five toes on their front paws, but only four on their back ones. If you've got a feline companion, go and take a look. Ever wondered what that tiny pocket in your jeans is for? It's a watch pocket, and was originally intended as a place to store pocket watches. It dates back to 1879, to the first pair of Levi's jeans. Your brain uses different hemispheres to store different memories. Things you hear or read are stored in the left hemisphere, and pictures or events you've seen in the right one. Hidden beneath the ice and frozen earth in Antarctica and Siberia, there are two giant viruses. They are 10 times larger than those we know and can survive for tens of thousands of years. There's a real-life Jurassic Park in Monaco. The Kem Kem beds are an extremely rich source of dinosaur fossils, with dozens of species uncovered in the last few decades. Around 34 million years ago, ancient primates crossed the Atlantic from Africa to South America. And nobody knows how. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.